Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my September favorites. So basically I just collected some beauty products and some hair products to share with you guys. Um, and these are my favorite things that I've been loving throughout the entire month of September. So I guess I'll just start with uh, some jewelry products that I want to show you guys. So first thing I've been loving is like a chunky jewelry that kind of is like arm candy. That whole arm candy trend that's been going around recently and chunky rings. Also for jewelry, I've really been liking these, which I'm not sure if they have a name to them, but they're basically like bracelets and rings connected, if you see that, what, what I mean, if that makes any sense. So I'll have a close-up of it so you guys can see it better. And actually all three of these products are from Jewel Mint. I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested. This ring right here is called the Luxor Ring. And then this little bracelet and ring attachment that I showed you guys is the Arabian Romance uh, bracelet ring. And then this bracelet that I'm wearing that I like to pair with other bracelets and kind of do the um, arm candy bracelet stacking trend. This is the Golden Bombshell bracelet from Jewel Mint. So I've really been liking these and they're all kind of along the gold color, which I like gold a lot. I think over silver a little bit better. So yeah, I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested. Okay, so next favorite I've really been liking is uh, this beauty box that I received this month. And this is literally called Beauty Box 5. Some of the ones um, that I've really been liking out of my beauty box have been this cleanser. And this is the Pure Lease cleanser and it's basically like a gentle uh, soy milk cleanser. It's so amazing on my skin because it removes my makeup but it's very uh, gentle like it doesn't have a lot of exfoliants in it or anything like that. This is great because it's very gentle and there's no active ingredients and there's just very little products. So I really like this one and like I said this was in my beauty box so I'm not really sure where else you can find the Pure Lease um, makeup products. Okay, so next mascara I've been loving. This is probably my new favorite mascara of all times and I can't believe it took me this long to try it because so many of you guys recommended it and it was literally all over YouTube and this is the Maybelline Original Falsies Volume Express Mascara and this is in the shade uh, Blackest Black. I think it's the darkest black if black can be the darkest. And it's so amazing. Like this does wonders for my lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm wearing just this today and it says a lot if I'm just wearing one mascara on the day or for that day because I usually like to layer my mascaras. So literally for the past like few weeks, all I've been wearing is this mascara. It's so amazing at volumizing and thickening my lashes. Like it's does both lengthens them and also gives them so much volume it literally looks like i'm wearing false lashes if you guys are wondering what i've been wearing in some of my recent videos as far as mascara this has been it and i don't know why it took me so long to try it but i've really been enjoying it for this month so moving on to other beauty products i've also really been liking as you guys can probably tell from my makeup today is dark lips and i have three to show you guys today and these lip colors I absolutely love and I love dark lips just because it just reminds me of fall and you can get away with wearing like more of a smoky eye and I just I don't know I really like the look of dark lips so one of my favorite colors is from Revlon and this is Raspberry Bite so basically this is just like a really bright raspberry color and I think this is great if you guys aren't looking to wear like a red lip you don't want to do like that daring of a look or you don't want to go for like a super purple lip like this lipstick that I'm about to show you guys it's just great it's a very good middle color um, and you can build it up to really dark or if you just want kind of a lighter um, raspberry lip then it looks really nice on your lips so I like this one and then another one is the purple color I just showed you guys it is by NYX and it's the round lipsticks, and this is in the color Medusa. It's pretty scary. It is a dark purple color, and I don't wear this a whole, whole lot, like, in the public, but um, it's just nice for, you know, an occasion or for me, like, videos and stuff like that. So I like that a lot. And then also, again, from Revlon, this is Cha Cha Cherry, and it's just the perfect red color. And Revlon lipsticks are my favorite, hands down. They're so pigmented. Um, and they have a great color selection. So I've been loving darker lippies for the month of September. Okay, so going along with lip products, another lip product I have is this lip gloss here by Essence. And I picked this up 
the beginning of September, I believe, and this is in the color Nude Candy, and it's the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss, and I picked this up because you guys know I've mentioned this in so many videos, but I am always on the hunt for a lip gloss that's similar to NARS's Turkish Delight, just because I just cannot spend $25 on a lip gloss at this time in my life right now. I just cannot justify spending that much on a lip gloss, so I'm always looking for cheap alternative dupes and I have found many lip glosses that I feel are similar to that like creamy milky pink look that NARS Turkish Delight has and this again is definitely like it. It is very pigmented and it is so inexpensive. I got this at Ulta for $2.99 and it smells really good too. So I love this lip gloss and I definitely recommend you guys checking out your local Ulta to see if they have uh, this color if you're interested in like that light pink sort of lip color. So moving on to favorite nail polishes for the month. I am so excited for this one because I have two polishes to share with you guys that I have never tried these before. These are my like first time trying this brand. And that is a lot to say because I have a lot of nail polish. And that is the Butter London polishes. And I picked these up when Ulta was having their Butter London uh, BOGO sale. They're having a buy one get one free sale, which I'm kind of mad that I didn't pick up more. Um, but these are $14, which is really expensive. So I did get one free, which was nice. So they're technically like $7 each. But still, it's a lot for a nail polish. So I picked up the very famous color. Can you guys guess? It is Trout Pout by Better London. <laughs> okay, I'm too much. And this color is Trout Pout by Better London, and it is a very cult favorite. A lot of people have this color, so I definitely wanted to pick this one up. And oh my god, you guys, this one is so creamy and pigmented. Like, you do not even need two coats of this. What I did was take a white nail polish, and I did two coats of the white nail polish and only one coat of Trout Pal. It was amazing. So pigmented. Um, not sheer at all. However, <laughs> knackered on the other hand. <laughs> I press this other Butter um, Legend polish that I have to share with you guys. This is knackered. And this one is a little on the sheer side. Um, but I still really like the color because it's kind of holographic and it has glitter in it. I just thought it was different. I don't really go for colors like this normally. I really like creamy non-shimmer polishes um but again this one was pretty popular too and i just like the color because it's kind of like holographic like duochrome i feel so i thought it was pretty unique however it is sheer so just beware if you guys are interested in getting this what i did was try it with a white nail polish first i did a white nail polish and then layered this with a couple coats and i didn't like the way it looked it just it looked funky on my nails, it looked weird. So I took that off and then I tried painting my nails a black polish and then I put this on top of it and it looked so much better. So I definitely recommend um, putting a darker polish underneath and then layering knackered on top of it. Okay, so another product I've been liking a lot is eye makeup remover and this is actually one of the first eye makeup removers that I've actually like bought in um, because I used to use the Lancome De Facile, do you know what it's called? The the Lancome makeup remover, I forgot the name of it. It was like in a blue tube and it had two different liquids and you shook it. And that one was amazing, but I got that in a sample kit at the Lancome counter and I was not about to pay like $40 for the full size. So I stopped using that and then I've tried the Clinique eye makeup remover in a sample kit and that was okay. So I went back to using just regular baby hand wipes to remove my face and eye makeup and I've been using that for like a couple years now. Um, but I find that it just, it irritates my eyes, doesn't remove makeup that well and I just feel like it's really harsh on my skin because at the end of the night I'm ending up like taking 10 minutes out of the night to scrub off my eye makeup and my face makeup. So I was like, you know, I need to go out and just find like a good makeup remover, whether it's like wipes or um, like in a liquid form like this. So if you guys have any recommendations for makeup remover, whether it's face or eyes, please comment them down below and preferably on the like lower end brand, like drugstore or something like that, because I really don't want to spend a whole lot of money on my makeup remover. And this one that I tried is the Target brand. It's called the Up and Up. 
brand I guess. It's Target's off brand and it's just the eye makeup remover liquid. It's oil free and it's compared to the Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover and I really like this a lot. Just like the Neutrogena one I think it has two different um, substances. I don't know. I got a D in chemistry so I'm not really sure what is going on in this tube but it works really well at removing my eye makeup. All I do at the end of the night is just take a cotton ball and I soak some of this, well shake it up and then soak some of this in the cotton ball and it just swipes off my makeup so easily. Um, but this little thing was five dollars and I just feel like eye makeup remover or really any kind of makeup remover is pretty pricey. I don't know but um, yeah this is just the brand name or not the brand name, the off brand and it works pretty well I would have to say. So like I said comment down below um, what makeup remover you guys have tried from the drugstore and if you like it because I'm kind of interested in trying more um, makeup remover products. So last products that I want to share with you guys in my September favorites are these two products and they kind of go hand in hand. I got these together um, in a package and they are from flatironexperts.com. I'll link them down below. I've talked about this company before um, because they sell higher end hair products like the macadamia products that I've tried and love. Um, they sell them there for a lot cheaper and it is online only and this is the KQC Extreme Deep Waver. I've actually really been enjoying this throughout the month of September and what I do basically is you just take a show you just take a section of hair and crimp your hair down so it's pretty self-explanatory you just you know crimp your hair down throughout the waver and it just gives you a really nice loose waves kind of like you braided your hair um like braided your hair when it's wet and then slept on it and then took it out in the morning it's kind of what it looks like so i really like this a lot if you guys are interested in that look i would definitely recommend maybe checking this product out okay so to go along with the deep waver i use this also by kqc it's the thermal shine um, it's just a thermal shine. I guess it's like a heat protectant slash shine spray. I really like this a lot. The only downfall to this is that it sprays like so hard. Like it's like a hose. Like you have to be careful because it sprays, it has a very powerful spray. So what I'd like to do is actually spray this on my hairbrush first instead of directly on my hair because it's just like too strong. Like... So anyways, um, this just gives a nice shine to my hair and also protects it from the heat, which I really like. So um, yeah, I've been kind of using this instead of my Tresemme heat tamer spray for um, the month of September. So that is it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a comment down below or a video telling me what your guys' September favorites are. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye everyone. Never mind, never mind, things are good again